BrickBot is a project that we began about two years ago to explore whether we could teach a robot how to build with Lego bricks. The idea was if you imagine a robot able to learn to assemble anything in the world in the same way that a child assembles Lego, then we could literally redefine how robots work in any industrial setting. Today, if you visit a factory, there are teams of people that spend months and years programming industrial robots to do just one task. It's incredibly tedious, unbelievably complicated, and very error-prone. So the approach that we're trying to take with BrickBot is to use machine learning to take sensor data and then infer what's going on in the environment to then have the robots act accordingly and act adaptively. There's a lot of things that you do when you're working with robots. It's some programming, it's actually mechanical design as well, making things, fabricating pieces that the robots may need to be able to do their task. We're looking at ways to make robots easier to use so that we can put these sort of assembly lines together and make them accessible to more people, not just these big companies that have deep resources to do this kind of thing. The products and the offerings we work with our customers on are things that help them design and create digital 3D models of the things they're going to create. We've now reached a point where certainly some of the stages of what we're doing in BrickBot are, are fairly robust. So we're now beginning to test them in industrial settings. We want to move beyond just Lego bricks, so we want to start looking at more realistic scenarios. So there's all kinds of different brick types. There's like wheels and gears, uh, windows, rooftops, and so on. Designing buildings, designing products are very, very complicated things. You have to be a specialist to do those things. And as computers get more powerful, computers should be able to take on some of that specialization and make these things more accessible to more people.